if he isn't already melting hearts enough, there's another thing Prince Harry is doing that will make you go awesome more. The Duke of Sussex has been wearing the same bracelet for 20 years in a touching tribute to his mum Princess Diana. We saw it in the couple's official engagement photoshoot and even on their wedding day, and now the bracelet, along with another, has been popping out of his jacket and dubbo today. Prince Harry is also sporting a black ring on his right hand, but royal watchers are yet to explain its significance. The silver bracelet, however, is often seen on Harry's wrist. It's believed he acquired it during a trip to Africa, shortly after his mum died in August 1997. Harry has previously spoken about his first trip to Africa after her death. I first came, to Africa, in 1997, straight after my mum died, he said. My dad told my brother and me to pack our bags, we were going to Africa to get away from it all. William and Harry are believed to have both picked up the traditional metal bracelets during that time. The bracelet has been photographed on his wrist during school exams, on trips around the world, and at the polo. He is often seen wearing a collection of metallic bangles and beaded bracelets. In October 2016, when the couple was still rumored to be dating, Harry and Meghan sparked further speculation when they were spotted wearing what appeared to be identical blue beaded bracelets. This week, during the royals' first official engagement on their Australian tour, Meghan wore one of Princess Diana's much-loved pieces. The Duchess of Sussex wore the late princess's butterfly earrings and matching bracelet during a welcome event at the Governor-General's residence, Admiralty House. The professional, who has photographed the royal family for over 40 years, said he sees a massive change in Prince Harry and said the royal is very protective of Meghan. Speaking on Yahoo News series The Royal Box, Arthur spoke about what he has observed since the May royal wedding. He said, I can see a massive change. He's, Harry's, become more aloof. He would always have a good relationship with the media. He would always engage in some way. That's completely stopped now. He's just controlled. He seems to have matured into a senior statesman of the royal family now. Maybe he sees that the time for joshing with Usain Bolt or hugging the Jamaican Prime Minister or getting sprayed with paint in Barbados. Maybe it's time to stop now. Arthur said that he was in Ireland with Prince Harry recently, and they went to Croke Park, the Dublin home of the Gaelic sport hurling. Arthur said that Prince Harry was offered the opportunity to hit the ball but declined, despite his dad Prince Charles doing it the year before. He said, there would have become a time when he would have hit that ball out of the ground I would assure you. Arthur also spoke of how Prince Harry treats Meghan Markle and said the royal feels the need to be very protective. Arthur said, now that he's married, he's very protective of Meghan. He's changed a bit yeah. I mean he's still hairy and he's still lovely and he's still the most popular member of the royal family. And the photographer gushed about Prince Harry's incredible way with children. He said, Harry is one of the greatest members of the royal family I've ever seen with kids. I mean they are all pretty great with children, but he's really good. He will not leave a child till he gets that child to smile. And if he's not smiling or if he's miserable, Harry will make him smile. He's amazing. I know living next door to William and he's seen William's children, of course he's great, he's Uncle Harry and he's very, very loving with those children and very involved with them. But of course he would love his own children. And I would be pretty sure both him and Meghan are planning to have a baby and family pretty quickly. Because it's no secret he wanted to get married and he wanted to have his own family and I don't think it'll be too long before it happens. Arthur said that he's covered a number of romances in the royal but he's never seen a couple more tactile than them. He said, they never stop holding hands. Even when she was walking to church on Christmas Day, she, Meghan, was arm in arm with him, she wouldn't let him go. He's, Harry's, always aware where she is, that she's always kept informed. Whispering in her ear if she's a bit hesitant about what to do next. He is very loved up and he's very much prepared to show it to everybody, this is the woman I love and this is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. 
While some royal skeptics have speculated over whether the royal marriage will go the distance, Arthur has no doubts. He said, they've not been married long, but it looks like it's going to last. Meghan Markle, 37, and Prince Harry, 33, had their wedding in May. Today Harry has been on a solo journey and a body analyzed the way he fiddled with his ring. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have mostly been seen side by side since their wedding in May. However, the prince had a solo trip today, which had to do with his military background. The Duke of Sussex attended the Royal Marines Commando Training Center in Limpstone. This was Harry's first visit in his official role as Captain General Royal Marines. According to reports Harry at the center in a Royal Navy Wildcat Maritime Attack helicopter for his first visit in the role. The prince noticeably fiddled with his wedding ring during the visit. Why would the recently married royal be playing with his jewelry in such a manner? Body language expert Jody James said, men are often seen fiddling with their wedding rings. The expert claims that the queen's grandson is sweetly missing his new wife. In Harry's case this looks like a self-comfort ritual performed for two reasons, when he's feeling under pressure or lonely. Jetty claims the gesture could partially be a defensive act from the prince. She said, firstly it allows him to create a barrier with his arms but by seeking out his wedding ring to touch and play with it suggests he's missing the backup and support of his wife here. The ritual would take on a different meaning if the ring were being pulled up and down a finger or even on and off when it would be much more likely to signal a rift or potential divorce. It was rumored that Meghan Markle was seen with her dog outside Kensington Palace. Lisa Petrillo, who is an entertainment journalist for CBS Miami made the spot. She posted to her Instagram account, so incredibly enough, walking by at Kensington Royal we spotted this beautiful, woman with a familiar air outside the entrance to the private residence where Harry and Meghan live. However, TMZ claim a palace source told them the woman was not Meghan. Jetty also recently claimed that Meghan Markle may be feeling nostalgia for her old career. Meghan relived elements of her acting past when she posed on stage with the cast of Hamilton recently. The couple attended a special gala performance of the award-winning musical to raise money for Harry's AIDS charity St. Paul. Body language expert Juddy James claims Meghan might be feeling some nostalgia for her past career. Who is Meghan Markle? Quick profile Meghan Markle was born Rachel Meghan Markle on August 4, 1981 to parents Storia Ragland and father Thomas Markle. Her father was previously married to Roslyn Loveless and Meghan has two elder half-sibling sister Samantha Markle and brother Thomas Markle Jr. Actress Meghan's first television appearance in the USA was in an episode of the medical drama General Hospital in 2002. She later moved on to roles in Xi, Without a Trace and Castle along with bit parts in Hollywood films including Get Him to the Greek, Remember Me and Horrible Bosses. Meghan was also a briefcase girl on Deal or No Deal but her most famous role was as Rachel Zane in Legal Drama Suits, which launched in 2011. She was written out in the finale of the seventh series when her character got married, which aired in April 2018 just before she got married herself. Charity and humanitarian work Meghan Markle's career in television has gone hand in hand with her support for causes close to her heart. She wrote about the stigma around menstrual health in an article for Time magazine and was a global ambassador for World Vision Canada with whom she traveled to Rwanda for the charity's clean water campaign. And her commitment to gender equality has seen her work with the United Nations receiving a standing ovation in 2015 for her speech to mark International Women's Day. Relationships In September 2011, she wed film producer Trevor Engelson who she began dating in 2004. But the pair divorced two years later in August 2013, citing irreconcilable difference. She was in a relationship with celebrity chef Corey Vitiello for almost two years, before they broke it off in 2016 but the two remain good friends. And in June 2016, 
she met Prince Harry on a blind date set up by a mutual friend. Their relationship began in October that year and just over one year later, on November 27, 2017, the pair announced their engagement. They married on May 19, 2018 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Meghan's heritage son have claimed Meghan Markle as the first mixed-race member of the royal family. Historians are still arguing about Queen Charlotte, the wife of King George III. But Meghan will be the first royal to openly embrace a mixed-race heritage. She has written about the difficulties of being a biracial actress in Hollywood as she claims she is not black enough for some roles and not white enough for others. Let's <laughs> go.